two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They yeah, did right. indeed. We can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Yay! Hold the maggots. window open for me, would you? <sighs> oh, it's cool. Ah! That's the way they did it back in the day. These are dark days, I fear. To Probably lose used the Lord to it. Of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. But it's cool. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Ugh. I got maggots in my leg, maggots, maggots in my leg. Go on. Don't stop now. But why it's would better he... to let the blood circulate. It's just a cut. It's not like it's a burn mark or anything. So what technically are they eating? It's, it was just a dagger cut. You know? Look out, my way down. Ironwood Grove. Do -do -do. Cool. Ugh. I can't walk by that, can I? Why am I still carrying this giant ass sword? Shouldn't I have given it to someone else by now? Oh, cool. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Gregor. You seem nice. Roderick. Nice ruler. He was our best warrior by far. So, judging by this, these two are dead now. This fucking Batman wannabe! Fuck you! Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. I think no. I, you probably looked on as like, eh, hey, you're just the fourth born. But it's kind of like, you don't have as much responsibilities. All the weight is put on the first born. And then it goes down. So it's kind of like, eh, you can slack off. 
You don't have as much responsibilities. You're not next to heir to the throne or anything. You still have like four other brothers. Or three or whatever. Whatever. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Mira. Huh. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Oh shit. Fuck. We're fucked. We got a kid playing an instrument, like, whatever. What's this thing called? A mandolin? I don't even know. But guess what? He's gonna play it. Like, fucking hell. We got a kid. That's the bad thing about these kind of rules, kings and whatnot, going, I don't know what the the term is, but going down through their, their family line, it's kind of bad, like, let's say everyone dies, and then the, the only ruler next in line is like a, a five-year-old. They put that son of a bitch on the throne. He's five. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make any sense. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Well, he's exiled. I like, though, that he's the only one with the axe. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Seem to be favoring it. Yay! I have no leg! Is there anything else to look at? I guess not. It's like a medical supplies. It's totally way over. Well, why'd I take him? I'm just gonna steal these? Cool. This might help. Nice. I'll just take this from you. What's with the bucket? Oh. Maggots! Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Kind of. I mean, I find maggots preferable to fucking flies. Mm -hmm. Flies are I'm just annoying. They fly mistaken. everywhere. You do seem able to put weight on it. At least maggots. Maggots are maggots. Maggots are useful because you can put them in your room for dead skin. They'll eat the dead skin. They won't eat anything alive. So you can actually put... You can, you can, you can put them in a wound and they'll just eat all the dead skin. It's They're great for burn marks. They'll eat the dead skin that's been burned off that's still just hanging on. They'll eat it. They won't, they won't eat any of uh, what's alive. So that's very interesting, but I'm still wondering why. I mean, it was a da it's a dagger cut sh from strain a line. So what are they eating? What's dead technically? I don't know. Let's look at you. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. <laughs> interesting. Show sword. No, you see there? You're limping. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Forrester. That's a long time. It's a lot of generations. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. <sighs> the White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. 
and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. They're stupid. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my Bye. lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, Hello. I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I. I'm so sorry. NATO. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Oh, you were fuck. with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Fuck! Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royal. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. Fuck. It was his family they killed. We should demand justice. Aye. Justice on their terms. Which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. What? I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now. My place is here! And the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, I want to protect! My place is here! Who will defend the house? This house. You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. 
To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Well, shit. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. Shit. Fuck. It's In too short. Heart, it's too fast. I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said... The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. Yep. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. I'm on it. <sighs> I'll do you proud, Uncle. <laughs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Dicks Remember, from stone. You represent Fuck. House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. Yay! Yeah. I'm off to see the wall, the fucking wall of Trump. Da -da 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 Garrett, wait! Hello! I'll take it. Be safe. Always. Da -da 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 Fuck, I'm fluting mandolin player, bitch, boy. I couldn't find him. Could you? He didn't look good enough. He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. Hehe. <laughs> Ryan, look who we've found. 
fucking hell. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. Shit, I think Mira's only three in left. Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want right? her to die yeah. too. Ryan, she's perfectly well, safe, I promise you. Technically, Ash is still alive, but he's just not there. Either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Kill Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he so he's good at hide and seek. Fight. He hides and doesn't fight. Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. Uh, I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does Miltsop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? <laughs> you, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah! Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. Well, they're fucking lying. <laughs> but since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. What the big cake? Everyone will have to do as you say. So. I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Hello, I walk in doing a handstand on my hands. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Fuck him. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, Let's go. I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. I've already changed. Fuck. That's why I didn't promise. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, I've disappointed them already. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. 
Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men. Shit. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Fuck. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. How dare you! I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. Fuck you. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! Yeah, you fuck you! foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the sharks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You, you cut all yours your down. Share. Our yeah. share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? If you were smart, you would have not cut it all down, dumbasses. Your Fuck man, this. the squire. We were minding our own business, <sighs> keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when Fuck your you. man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. That's not how it happened. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. Good, fuck I'm not you. leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. You answer to my foot up your ass. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forrester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Suck a dick.
I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. 